<laughs> oh, well, but it's gold here. Obviously, say that's pretty good find. Oh, looks like there might be a cave over here, but uh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I should just keep digging down. Who, who knows what'll Who knows what'll happen? Whoa, Jesus! Oh, hell no! Where am I? Hey guys, sorry for that shitty recording. How is everyone doing today? My name is the Dark Lord Runner, and welcome back to another Minecraft review of an update that has recently occurred. I am super late to this, so it's gonna be really stupid. So, uh, yeah, uh, mind the stupidity, please. Alright? So, we, we have two major things to go over today, in which we are currently standing in one. Luckily, uh, I have found it. And this is the ancient city, essentially a city from the newest of the ideas of Minecraft. And I can't, I don't as much know as much about this city as other players do, but essentially there was a ancient builder race, so the theory goes. And they built this city with this coexisting entity that they found from this portal. Because something attacked this. But the thing that attacked this came through the portal. The builders praised it like a cult and died for it. And every time there was EXP, well, it, it would grow and I'll show you that later but let's get into the items first so first things first we have the skulk the skulk isn't much other than the ground model for this pretty good decoration block no nothing really Good about it. Makes a squishy sound when you walk over it. So, overall, it's pretty neat if you want to build, like, an, a Twilight Zone area. Overall, not a bad idea. Next thing we have is the Skulk Vein. Now, uh, again, same thing over here. If you break it, nothing happens. You could collect it with, uh... Shears, as far as I am aware. Makes it about the same sound. You can place it on any block known to man. Next thing we have is the Skulk Catalyst. Uh, covered in bones. It's a bit weirder. A bit different. So, I would say, you know, overall an interesting block. I think this might be the one that holds EXP. I may be wrong. Let, let's test it out. Uh, bat. Or no, not bat. Pig. Yes, pig. That'll, that'll work. So as you can see, whenever you kill something here, uh, you also get the achievement. It spreads. Which the Skull Catalyst will absorb. And make the thing spread. So... Very interesting block. Definitely has its uses if you want to start harvesting more of this skulk gunk. So overall, I, I would say it's a very useful block. Next, we have the fucking skulk streaker. Now, if you get one of these from creative... Well, it'll just be... It, it'll be the same use as the other one, but... Essentially, if you step on it,
it makes a weird noise. Definitely interesting if you want to make a map. And it's got some rings on it. So, I mean, I guess you can make it into something. Overall, mainly just for design. But can be used for other things. So, overall, very useful. And I'm going to save this. Actually, no, I'm going to bring it out right now. So, this is a warden. And so, how you get this to spawn it. I don't know why you want to sp spawn it. But, it, it's weird. So, these things... Which are in redstone, actually. If I can find it. These are called skulk sensors. Skulk sensors, if you put it down, they make noise. Whenever you walk towards something, whenever you place a block. Or, or whenever you walk or run. It, a good way to avoid these is not by breaking them. Because it would already be too late. But, if you put wool down, and you shift, or I think, if you just put wool down, actually, uh, wool. Which actually gives wool a huge, huge use. This will not be triggered. As if you walk on a block, it will be triggered. Wool, you're fine. Not wool, you're dead. And there's a good reason you want to avoid this. As you can hear, there is footsteps like crazy in this ancient city. And so as this continues on, you will hear more and more noises. As you can hear, it's starting to beep. I'm going to do it a final time or a third time. As you can hear, he's getting pretty pissed. And then this final time, it should activate him. Come out, you damn warden. You're too much of a baby. Oh, he did not like that. So this is the warden. He has a beating heart. Has about 500 health. He's hard to kill. And he's blind. So I'm actually going to... Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go into survival and show you how tough this actually is. Let me set my spawn point first. Okay. So, let me just show you guys how tough this thing is. I'm going to walk around for two seconds, and he will immediately blind me, and kill me within two shots. I am in full netherite, and that man just wiped me off the face of the earth. That is why you do not go fucking with these mobs. They are dangerous, and they will kill you. Uh, here we go. Here's the hole. So, as you can see, very dangerous mob. Now, let's look at the ancient structure as a whole. Pretty based, if you ask me. Overall, interesting human design. A lot of ritual areas. A lot of chests as well, I'll admit. And this is also a good way to get candles, if you are that interested in it. Uh, mending diamond armor. If you want to get the new enchantment as well, Swift Sneak, which you also can just put on pants, uh, I would recommend doing it. I don't. I'm. I will. Rec I will cover Swift Sneak in another video. As you can see, it's a lot of stuff that you can get from here. It looks like these players' descendants came from both the Nether and the Overworld, and it may not have been players, but as you can see. A lot of stuff, especially with the new Disc Fragment 5, which sounds extremely weird, and I, I guess I'll show you it, but it, I don't know why I would show you. It's weird, but as you can see, 
excellent structure. If you killed the warden, actually broke everything here, you can make this into a pretty nice underground base. And honestly, I think it would be well worth it. I mean, overall, let's take like let's take a preview at the base. It's pretty long. It's about a thousand by a thousand. So you, you would definitely have some good living space. You know, it, it took a second to make. And it's got some lighting. Now, the next best thing about living down in this base would be that no mobs would spawn aside from bats. No hostile mobs in, in specific. Why that is, I am very unsure. You would have to ask a professional Minecraft player. I'm just a veteran of this game. But overall, very interesting. So now, I think... One more question to be answered here. Which is, what does this do drop? Good question. I'm about to show you and then after that we will review the disc Done. let's show you guys what he drops now if I could please hurry this up I have some other things to review I have a stream to get to. Affect Dark Lord Runner. Affect Give Dark Lord Runner. Minecraft Strength 250 or 2055. Alright. And what he drops is a skulk, a, uh, skulk catalyst. Which, as you know, can spread the spawn. Uh, apparently multiple can spawn. But yeah, this is a good way to farm. As you can see, you definitely want to break this because multiple can spawn if you, if you don't break it. And that can be bad as a player because then you won't be able to... Uh, exists for very long. <laughs> but yeah, that, that's the, uh, skulks for you. Now, it's on to the next biome. Which is... TP, dark Lord, or TP at a... 112, 107... Hold up. TP at a... One, one, two, one, oh, seven. Four, eight, four. All right. So now we are at the swamp. Should be here. In, oh. Which is going to be the next big thing. So there are a few things with the addition of the swamp. You have frogs, which, if I am remembering correctly, they eat glowstone. Is it, is it glowstone? Hold on. Do you eat glowstone? What do you eat? See you, lanterns. I don't know. Hold up. I, well, they, they eat something and it makes these glowing blocks. So I'll, I'll have to figure out what it is that they eat. Uh, as far as I'm aware, they do not drop anything other than EXP at the moment. You have these new trees called mangrove trees, along with the whole new biome, which is mangrove. Uh, it's pretty interesting, and alongside the mangrove roots, you have the 1.18 stuff alongside some of the newer items. 
which is pretty overall neato. You get flowers, and you can grow these trees at your base, along with this new soil. Uh, what is this new soil called? Called mud. It's called mud. It's interesting, my guy. Walking through the mud, you can't stop me. And then you also have some tree fallings. And again, you can get these lights from the frogs by feeding them something. I forget what it is. Oh, wait, I think it's the shroom lights. That's what it is. So hold on, let me... I think it is the shroom lights. Give me... Where are you, Mr. Frog? I need... I need your... I need you for lights. So, again, I guess it is interesting if you want new decorations. But overall, the mangrove farm is not that useful. Maybe for wood. I haven't really checked it out yet. Uh, we'll do that after we do the frog. Okay, here's the frog. Come here, Mr. Frog. I need you to take this and spit out something new. Come here. Stop. Okay, it may not be the shroom light. Do I have to feed it to you? Oh, he's staring at it. I forget how this works. I don't know. Well, anyway, you're supposed to give them a light and essentially they'll eat it. Apparently, I cannot get the frog to eat it. So, yeah, that'll have to do for another day. But anyways, I'm pretty sure that's about it. You know, other than the new frog mobs and the supposed... Alley, which is actually a pretty decent mob. So what you do is spawn it, or you find it, and you go say, "Hey, I want you to go find this item." And what it'll do is it will go out and find this item. Supposedly, it is all a work in progress, but or it will hold items for you, which is awesome. So you can give it a sword. It will hold the sword for you. You can take the sword back by right clicking it. Which is something awesome I figured out in my last review. Anyway, this has been the Dark Lord Runner. I hope you all have enjoyed. And I will see you on Twitch, my gamers. By the way, we will be live right after this announcement. So remember to follow me on Twitch. We are almost to like 25 away from 1K if I remember correctly. So I will see you there.